If the line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 is a tangent to the curve x bar 2 by 3 plus y bar 2 by 3 equal to 1, then which of the following is true, right? So, wonderful question. So, this is probably one of the trickiest questions in the PGDBA paper. Uh, so, what are they exactly asking for? So, they have given a curve equation and they have given a line which has to be a tangent to the curve, right? So, essentially they are asking us to find the condition for which this line will be a tangent to that curve. So, that is what the question is trying to say here. So, forget about this weird equation that we have. Let's try to understand what the question uh, wants us to do and how to approach this question, right? So, I'm just going to draw a random curve, not uh, related to this one. So, just a random curve I'm going to draw. So, now what are they said? What have they said? So, they've given a curve equation and we have a tangent here. So, I'm just picking one random point and drawing a tangent here, right? So, let us say this point to be h, k. So, now we want this line to be the tangent to this curve at some point, right? So, how do we approach this? So, we know about differentiation, right? So, if we differentiate the curve equation or the function, what will happen? We will get an expression which will give us the slope at every point in the curve, right? That's what differentiation essentially is. So, we will differentiate this uh, equation and then we will get an expression and if, if we plug, plonk in h, k, we will get the slope of this curve at this particular point, right? So, we can find the slope of the curve at h, k, right? So, now we also know uh, the slope of the tangent. Through this equation, we can find the slope of the tangent and obviously, so slope of the line is constant throughout, right? It's not going to change. Slope of a line is constant. So, the slope of the uh, line at this point is also going to be the same. So, we can find the slope through this equation and we can find the slope of the curve at h, k where the tangent meets the curve and we are going to uh, equate both and try to find the condition. That's going to be the approach. Uh, but yeah, so the, but the interesting part here is going to be uh, we are not going to use h, k here. You can go ahead and try to do h, k but that's going to be pretty tedious. Uh, we'll, we'll have a very difficult algebraic expression to solve. So, to make our life easier, we are going to use something called as polar coordinate. So, let us uh, try to see what that is. So, essentially, we know that uh, in the Cartesian coordinate, every point is represented by x, y, right? The x coordinate and the y coordinate, that is distance from the uh, origin, right? So, this is the x, x coordinate and this is the y coordinate, right? So, now in polar coordinates, what I am going to do is, I am just going to join this point to the origin and I am going to take this distance to be r, right? Obviously, we can find what that is, I am just going to keep that as r and this angle, the inclination of that particular line, I am keeping it as theta, right? So, now we can find the vertical distance and the horizontal distance, right? This vertical distance is nothing but r sin theta. This is a right triangle. If we just drop a perpendicular, this becomes a right triangle and the vertical distance is r sin theta, horizontal distance is r cos theta. So, essentially what does that mean? Instead of x comma y, instead of representing this point as x comma y, we can represent it as r cos theta comma r sin theta. Right. So, this is what we call as polar coordinates or parameters or right. there are a bunch of different names through which you can uh, call this. So, this is using the trigonometric functions, right. So, we are going to use this to make our life easier. So, let us look at how to do that. So, what is the equation, curve equation that we have? x bar 2 pi 3, sorry. Yeah, the curve equation that we have is x bar 2 by 3 plus y bar 2 by 3 equal to 1. So, let us try to reject this equation and let us try to write this as x power 1 by 3 whole squared plus y power 1 by 3 whole squared equal to 1, right? So, I have just rejected this and written this this way. So, I am just going to substitute this x power 1 by 3 as sum x. So, x is equal to x power 1 by 3 and sum y to be y power 1 by 3. Why am I doing that? Because I don't want this 1 by 3, 1 by 3 to be there. So, I am just taking some x to be x power 1 by 3 and some y to be y power 1 by 3, right? So, that's what I am uh, doing here. So, this equation becomes x squared plus y squared equal to 1. So, what does this equation represent? This equation is nothing but a circle equation, right? And not just any circle, it's a unit circle. The radius is 1. So, this is a very uh, important step here. So, so, we have rewritten this equation to be x squared plus y squared equal to 1 and we got a unit circle. So, we will try to find the polar coordinates of that. We already know uh, how to find that. 
So essentially, if it is a unit circle, the radius is going to be one. And any point if you take on this curve, right? Any point you take on this circle, it is going to be r cos theta comma r sin theta. Here, r is going to be one because it's a unit circle. So therefore, it the any coordinate, any point on this circle can be represented by cos theta comma sin theta, right? Pretty simple. So this is going to be the polar coordinate for this equation, not our original equation, right? But we have to deal with this equation. We already know x to be equal to x power 1 by 3 and y to be equal to y power 1 by 3. So we're just going to substitute that to find the polar coordinates for our equation, right? So now this is going to be equal to cos theta and this is going to be equal to sin theta. So what will x be? x will be if you just cube this, so x will be equal to cos cube theta and y, be, y will be equal to sin cube theta. So this is going to be our uh, this is going to be the point at which the curve and the tangent is going to be uh, going to meet. So why is that? Because see, anyway, the line and the curve or the function is going to meet at a point because that's a tangent. And we are going to take that point to be cos cube theta comma sin cube theta instead of h comma k. So that is that's what we have done here. So we have found the polar coordinates for this equation. So now we have found out the polar coordinates. Right? So let us just, I'm just going to summarize what we have uh, done here. So we have the curve equation x power 2 by 3 plus y power 2 by 3 equal to 1. And we found out, uh, and, and the curve, uh, the tangent equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Wherever this tangent is meeting the curve, we are taking that point to be cos cube theta comma sin cube theta. Right, that's what we did with the polar coordinates, right? So instead of h comma k, this is what uh, we are taking. So now let us try to go on and just after this is just going to be differentiating and solving and it's going to be routine, right? So let us try to differentiate this equation, right? So with respect to x. So if I differentiate with respect to x, x power 2 by 3 will be 2 by 3 x power minus 1 by 3 plus 2 by 3 y power minus 1 by 3 into dy by dx is equal to differentiation of 1 is 0. So let us just rearrange this equation. The 2 by 3 will get cancelled. So this will become y power minus 1 by 3 dy by dx equal to minus x power minus 1 by 3 or this will become dy by dx is equal to minus of x by y whole power minus 1 by 3 or I can rewrite this as minus of y by x whole power 1 by 3. I'm just flipping this. So this is the slope. So this will give us the slope, right? Slope of the curve at any point, at any point x comma y. But what, where is the point that we want the slope for? This point, right? Cos cube theta comma sin cube theta. So we're going to substitute this point over here. Instead of y and x, we're going to put it as sin cube and cos cube theta. So let us do that. Sorry. So we're going to just put y to be sin cube theta and x to be cos cube theta whole power 1 by 3 and minus is there. So what is sin cube theta plus cos cube theta is tan cube theta. Tan cube theta whole power 1 by 3 will become tan theta. Therefore what is happening here the slope, slope of the curve at the point cos cube theta comma sin cube theta is nothing but minus of tan theta, right? Minus of tan theta. This is the slope. Now what we will try to do is we will try to find the slope of the line which is pretty simple. It, this line equation is x by a plus y by b equal to 1. We can just rewrite this as y by b equal to 1 minus x by a or y is equal to b minus b by a x or this is the slope, right? So this is y equal to mx plus c form. The slope of the tangent is nothing but minus b by a. Slope of our tangent is minus b by a and we already got the slope from the curve to be what? That is nothing but tan theta. Our slope that we got from the curve is tan theta. So these two must be equal. Sorry, minus tan theta. These two must be equal, right? So let us just equate these two. Minus tan theta equal to minus of b by a, right? So this is nothing but tan theta equal to b by a. So we know tan theta to be b by a. So from that, we can we find out sin theta and cons theta? Yes, we can do that. The idea behind that is we need to eliminate somehow the cos theta and sin theta that we bring in, right? Because the conditions that we had in the options was had only a and b. So we need to eliminate 
the theta that we brought in. So we, if we know tan theta, we can obviously find an, uh, sin theta and cos theta using trigonometric identities or you can use the right triangle to find it, right? So if you just uh, plonk in the right triangle, so this will be b and this will be a, b by a and sin theta is going to be plus or minus b by root of a squared plus b squared y plus or minus again that depends on theta right how we take theta if theta is in the first quadrant it's going to be positive and uh, so on and so forth so if we do it in uh, the traditional uh, trigonometric identity wise you will get it as plus or minus but if you are doing this you should be careful to put this plus or minus right so this plus or minus is because depending on where theta is it will be so similarly cos theta is going to be plus or minus a by root of a squared plus b squared so these are the two uh, values. So now what we are going to do is we have gotten uh, these two and the only thing that we haven't used yet is the uh, tangent equation, right? So in the tangent equation, the tangent equation should satisfy cos cube theta and sin cube theta. Why should it satisfy that point? Because that is the point where the tangent is touching the curve and it should satisfy, right? So we are going to substitute x and y to be cos cube theta and sin cube theta in the tangent equation and then try to simplify that, right? So we are just going to substitute uh, cos cube theta comma sin cube theta in this expression. So this will become cos cube theta by A plus sin cube theta by B equal to 1, right? So now you will have this doubt of, okay, we got cos theta to be uh, a by root of a squared plus b squared plus or minus and sin theta to be plus or minus b by root of a squared plus b squared, right? So what to use? Do, should we use plus a by root of a squared plus b squared or minus root of a squared plus b squared? So we'll have actually four different cases here, right? Both positive, both negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, right? But if you try to go ahead and take different cases, you will actually see that uh, only positive positive will work here. So we are just going to take cos theta to be a by root of a squared plus b squared and sin theta to be b by root of a squared plus b squared and that is where that is what we are going to substitute in this equation, right? So now let us just do that. So cos cube theta, right? So that is a by root of a squared plus b squared the whole cube divided by a plus y by sorry b by root of a squared plus b squared the whole cube divided by b equal to 1. So now a cube and a so that will become a squared so that will become a squared divided by a squared plus b squared the root and cube right so that will become 3 by 2 right 1 by 2 whole cube will become 3 by 2 and this will become b squared by a squared plus b squared whole power 3 by 2 equal to 1, right? So now we are just going to uh, take this over to the right side. So this will become a squared plus b squared equal to a squared plus b squared whole power 3 by 2, right? So now we will just take this to the left hand side. So it is a squared plus b squared minus a squared plus b squared whole power 3 by 2 equal to 1. So we can just take a squared plus b squared common a squared plus b squared into 1 minus a squared plus b squared whole power 1 by 2 equal to 1. 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2, right? So we have just taken a squared plus b squared common. So now, sorry, equal to 0. Sorry, this is equal to 0 because we, we took a squared plus b squared whole power 3 by 2 from the right to the left. So this is 0 and 0. So now if you look at it, either this e this expression can be 0 or this expression can be 0. Right? Either a squared plus b squared equal to 0 or a squared rather 1 minus a squared plus b squared whole power 3 by 2 sorry whole power 1 by 2 equal to 0. Either this expression can be 0 or this expression can be 0. Now if you think about it, this cannot be 0. This case cannot happen. Why, can, why can't it happen? Because A and B are uh, X intercept and Y intercept, right? X intercept and Y intercept cannot be 0, right? So therefore, this will not work and the only possible case is this. So what does this mean? This is A squared plus B squared whole power 1 by 2 equal to 1, right? 
So if you just simplify it, it will become a squared plus b squared equal to 1. So this is the condition for which the line that we saw x by a plus y by b equal to 1 will be a tangent to this particular curve and this is the condition for tangency which is a squared plus b squared equal to 1 and that will be our answer. Right and that will be our answer. Uh, interestingly, we have the curve. So this is how the curve looks. The x part 2 by 3 plus y part 2 by 3 equal to 1 curve. This is how it looks. So it's a very very interesting curve that we have. So these are the four points, right? If you if you just uh, plug in the values, you will immediately realize that these four are the roots of the equation. Uh, 1 comma 0, minus 1 comma 0, 0 comma 1 and 0 comma minus 1. So these are the roots of the equation and you can see that and this is how the curve looks. So when we shifted the, uh, when we substituted a different variable, right, x equal to x power 1 by 3, we essentially draw a, drew a unit circle this way and we tried to find the uh, polar coordinate of a point on this circle. But essentially it, it, it uh, doesn't have to be that, it has to be this, right. So that's why instead of cos theta comma sin theta, we got it to be cos cube theta comma sin cube theta. So the value is lesser because of the curve being inwards. So it's a wonderful curve that we have right here. So yeah, that, that's the question. Hope you enjoyed it. Best wishes.